Hi guys, it is Thursday and today mum and I are heading down to some uh, bridal shops. We're looking for wedding dresses, we're on the hunt and we're doing I think two today. See how we get on and then maybe going through to Glasgow tomorrow. Check out that sunset. So we're just leaving the wedding dress shop now, right behind me. And I think we might have found a dress. Yeah, very exciting. Good morning guys, it is Friday. It's Steph's birthday, my sister, so happy birthday to her. Um, we are through in Glasgow. It is a grey dull day and we are off wedding dress shopping again. Windswept and in the rain. Um, typical Glasgow weather. <laughs> hey guys, it's Saturday, so a quick update. Um, yesterday was a pretty big day with the wedding dress, um, but it was also my sister's birthday, so I went round to hers for a party in the evening. Ended up staying over and pretty much going to sleep well after two. Um, and then we got up this morning and the family came round for breakfast, so we'd had a nice breakfast there. And then I drove her, her boyfriend and their friends to the airport and they are flying off on a skiing holiday for the next week. So that was me saying goodbye to them for this trip um, and now I'm back home and we're going to take down the Christmas tree. So yeah, it's kind of sad clearing away Christmas for another year. It's all empty and we're going to just take this tree down, take it out into the garden and maybe have a little bonfire. So we've come out to the garden and we're gonna have a bonfire with the Christmas tree. So we're just building that now. I'm gonna take you down to the summer house and show you what it looks like. So we've got the Christmas tree and the bonfire and we've brought down some Christmas decoration, the chocolate ones that were still left on the tree, and we're going to have them now. This is the little summer house mum has called Bessie. And we've got a sofa ready. Yep, and we've got some lanterns lit. And we're creating a cosy little evening in here for Nori to enjoy. Here we go. So I know it doesn't look like much, but that up there is the back of Edinburgh Castle. It's beautifully uplit at night. And there you go. basically just been preparing to start packing and um, I've just come back from the supermarket where I've been just collecting the last few bits and pieces and today I spent the day with Nori and Ted and my sister-in-law Amy and we just hung out and played um, so yeah now I have packing to do but this evening I'm going to listen to my mum and her choir who um, rehearse at the now I've gone blank the Usher Hall. <laughs> so I'm heading around there now and yeah, might be able to sneak in. So it's got this funky new entrance wrapping around the exterior of it, but it's a beautiful building behind all this modern glass. I'll try and go around the front and show you the entrance. But you can see a little bit of the old coming through at the back there. And this is the entrance. So I've got to find the artist's entrance and that's where I'm allowed to come into. Nope. I think we might have to try the new bit and see if I can get in that way. But I'm not sure. Open? No. Let's try this one. 
I don't know how I'm gonna get in. This looks promising. No. Ah. Artist entrance. Let's see if this is gonna be open. Yes. So yeah, I'm just leaving now. Um, it was a great space to be in. What an amazing place to get to sing in every week and rehearse there. But yeah, I got to sit on the stage and um, it was a bit kind of the odd one out, but it was really nice to get to see Mum and Eric singing. Um, I don't get to go to any of their concerts, so it was nice to go to the rehearsal. And I obviously couldn't film in there because there's hundreds of people, so you'd have to get all of their permission. But I did a little sketch just so I'll insert it now, just so you can kind of see what it's like inside. So now I'm off to pick up some wedding stuff um, and heading back home to pack. Here's the castle, I'll show you once again. So I'm just packing up, I've got the last few bits to do. These are things I really want to take back with me, but I think they're too heavy and of course they're liquid so they can't go with my hand luggage. But we're almost there. So again, it's the last little walk out in the woods before I head off to the airport and fly back to Iceland. Um, it's pretty muddy, so I'm just watching where I'm stepping, but we're out with Nori because mum's looking after Nori today and she's on her little bike. It's really cute going, pushing her through the woods um, and she's got a little posy of flowers with her and she's practicing to be my flower girl. It's so adorable. <laughs> I can see Ingemar! So I'm back and the beautiful Icelandic weather is here to greet me and so is the Icelander. Here he is! Hey! Hi guys! Hey. <laughs> so where's all the snow? Look, there's only a tiny little bit. <laughs> We're on the wrong side of the road! Fresh. My Viking, the weightlifter. 